can I say something? I may be wrong about this, but I think I am not. Okay. When it comes down to God, and I may be wrong about this, when it comes down to God, I don't think it's all about, please listen to me, this may confuse you a little. I think when it comes down to God, I believe it is not all about how much you sin. And you may be saying, or you may be telling me, or you may tell me, Kevin, what are you talking about? When it comes down to God, I don't think it's all about all about, I think it is not all about how much you sin. I believe it is about you repenting, asking God for forgiveness, confessing your sins to God, and trying not to sin like striving for perfection. And you may say to me, what do you mean by it's not all about me sinning? Because I thought it is me sinning that will take me to hell. And let me explain myself more. I believe it is not all about a person sinning. I believe it is about that person's intention and what they are trying to do. Please listen to what I am saying. In the Bible, besides Jesus, what human being and I am not giving anyone an excuse to sin, so please listen to me on that. In the Bible, what human being, Old Testament and in the New Testament, what ordinary human being, not including Jesus, did everything right? I guess Jesus was not really an ordinary human being. But anyway, what ordinary human being did everything right? Paul? No. Peter? No. Who? Who in the Bible always did everything right. What ordinary human being did everything right? I believe, I forget which book it was in the Bible, but I believe the Apostle Paul expressed he does things wrong that he don't want to do. And who is better what human being is better than the Apostle Paul? Like, who did more than he? Maybe there is someone, but I don't know. Okay. Sin is wrong, right? Yes. Um... Is Uncle Kev telling you it is okay to sin? Of course not. I think some people have it in their head that it is not permitted. Please listen to what I am saying. 
I think some people have it in their mind that they should never sin, which is true. They should never sin, but I believe they have it in their mind if they continue to sin, like living for Jesus Christ is not for them. I think some people have it in their mind like that. Listen now. Whether you are an apostle, pastor, preacher, missionary, evangelist, whomever, show me anyone, any human being, holy or whatever, that does nothing wrong. Listen now. Yes, I don't get drunk. I don't fornicate. I don't curse people out. I don't do, I guess I can say, major things wrong if there is such a thing. But I believe at times I do stuff that is not right. But I am trying to do what is right. I love God. I repent. I ask God for forgiveness. I ask for help. So will God send me to hell with me being this way? I think not. There may be a person that is doing worse than I. Maybe that person gets drunk. Maybe that person does very horrible things. But I believe if that person is trying to do what is right, asking God for help, repenting, confessing their sins to God, so on and so on, even though that person may do more wrong than me, and I may be wrong about this, but I believe that person, if that person is striving for perfection, even though that person is messing up so much, I believe that person will go to heaven after death. I believe it is not about how much you sin. I believe it is about your intentions and what you are doing when it comes down to God as in striving for perfection and stuff like that. Confessing your sins, asking God for help. You really, I believe there are some people who may say that they are trying to serve God, but in actuality, they may not be just saying they are trying. But I believe there are people who may sin so much, but I think some of them are really trying to do what is right. Do you believe God is going to send them to hell? I don't think so. Then you may say to me, Kevin, then who do you think will go to hell? Okay. I may be wrong about this, right? But I believe the people that will go to hell are the people who stop trying. Kevin, this living for God stuff is too hard. I give up. I think those are the type of people. Now, there may be more categories. But I think that is one of the categories, category of people, I guess I can say, that will go to hell are the ones who give up. Kevin, I know doing this or doing that is wrong, but I am try I am tired of trying, you know, I may be getting tested and I am tired of going through this and that, and I want to live my life anyway, anyhow. I think a person like that is asking, in so many words, to go to hell. 
but a person who is placing so much effort into trying to change, repenting, fasting, confessing their sins to God, asking God for help, so on and so on, I believe God will honor that. Okay, think about the thief on the cross, if you know what I am speaking about. What did the thief do? And if I remember correctly, didn't that thief repent? I believe so. In a way, didn't that thief confess his sins to Jesus, right? And I believe toward the end, that man asked Jesus, please remember me when you get to your kingdom or whatever else. And I believe Jesus said to him, today or whatever, you will meet me in paradise. Now, can you tell me at that point of time, that man was perfect? Like, what if that man was let down off the cross alive? Are you telling me at that time when he confessed his sins to God, to Jesus, are you telling me that person would have not sinned from that point until he died? I think not. So, I believe that man was not, please listen to what I am saying. If that thief would have lived on, I believe that thief would have messed up more. So what I am trying to say in that point, I don't think the thief was perfect. Listen now. I believe as we live in God and try to better ourselves, I believe we should be growing more in spiritual maturity. Myself, I am so different. I think I am so different, I guess in many ways, than how I was two, three years ago, I believe. I believe I am more spiritually mature than how I was back then. So when the thief was on the cross, how spiritually mature do you think he was? Do you think he was at the point to where if he was let down off the cross alive, do you think he would have not sinned anymore? I think not. Listen now. And I believe what I said to be true. I believe it is not about how much you sin. I am not telling you to sin. I am not. I believe it is not so much about how much you sin. I believe it is about you striving for perfection. Yes, for an example, a person may say, Kevin, I am sinning so much. I am not trying to, I am not perfect, but I am repenting. I am trying to change. I am confessing my sins to God. I don't want to do this, but yet I am doing wrong. And I will continue to try to do what is right. Man, I think a person like that, even though that person is not doing everything right, I believe a person like that will go to heaven. Will. But a person who is deceived, that may act holy, but do so much wrong, but, but are not confessing their sins, 
making believe, I guess, in their mind, their wrong is right, even though deep down they may know that they are wrong. A person walking in arrogance and conceit and stuff like that, I believe a person like that is, in so many words, asking to go to hell. Some people may say, Kevin, I want to wait until I get better in life, then I will try to live for God. How can you be better in life? How can you, I guess I can say, change more as a person for the better without Jesus? Well, Kevin, if I come to Jesus now, I will sin and mess up and I want to wait until I get better, then I will come to him. I think it is demons messing with your mind, making believe you can get better without Jesus. How can you? Man. So I pray this all makes sense to you. If you are not with Jesus Christ now, Come to him now, right now, because do you know when you are going to die? I don't, and I don't want to know either. <laughs> so come to Jesus now while you still have the chance. Why not? Even if you aren't perfect, ask God for help. I know I ask God for help. Let me stop here. God bless you.